I mean, you've got flow, you've got jumps, you've got nice berms. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show the top five trails to ride during Bentonville Bike Fest. This is Drop the Hammer. Will it make the video? You just have to wait and see to find out. I'm my buddy, Seth, and we're going to show you the top five trails to ride during Bentonville Bike Fest. Let's go. Okay, coming in at number five. First trail on the list is Shrain Train. We will get on this trail here in a minute to show you why it's one of the best trails in Bentonville. Seth, do you agree with it being number five? It's got a bit of everything. You've got flow, you've got some jumps, um, and then there at the end you get real nice rock gardens, opportunities to make some pulls for some sketchy lines. <laughs> for and, some uh, sketchy yeah. stuff. All right, we will get on train train and see how sketchy we can get. <laughs> hey, we are getting on train train. It starts with the drop. A lot of fun jumps on this trail. Yes, <laughs> very, very fast and flowy at the top. And then, yeah, <laughs> towards the bottom, we have the rock garden coming up. And there's these signs here to say slow. As you do want to go a bit slower through this rock garden. Woo. Yeah. Ah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that trail is so good. So that is train train number five. First trail. Let's go to the number four trail. Let me know in the comments what you think that trail is for uh, people that are local here in Bentonville. But yeah, let's get to the number four spot. All right, coming in at number four on the must ride trails to ride during Bentonville Bike Fest is Thunderdome. Let's get on the trail. Okie dokie. Getting on Thunderdome. This trail is one of the best trails in uh, in Bentonville. It is so, so fun. A lot of berms, a lot of little jumps and <laughs> bigger jumps. Like that one. Yeah. like to cross cross over here sorry Seth right <laughs> 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 behind Seth now yeah yeah <laughs> it's such a fun trail did I punch right in front of you there oh no well kind of <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect though because I was able to get right behind you and get a mm -hmm. really cool shot. Yeah, it was like a swap swap. Yeah. While you're here in Bentonville, make sure to try out the coffee. We have an incredible, incredible coffee scene in Bentonville. But this coffee shop that's at Fuller in the middle of the woods is going to be absolutely insane during Bike Fest. It's going to be a fun option, but it's going to be super busy, so just be aware of that. We've got all sorts of other options around town, though. So. Coming in at number three, we're over here at the castle. Number three trail, I think, is Medieval. Medieval's got some incredible flow. It's really fast. It's easy to get up to. But yeah, let's get on Medieval, and I'll show you all exactly why this trail is one of the best in Bentonville. Alrighty, getting on Medieval. A lot of fun jumps. Incredibly well-built trail. 
big berms, super fast. Really fast, this jump here. Ah, it's a really fun jump. And then the bottom couple of jumps, it's a big jump. And then this last jump is really big. <laughs> yeah, that is such a fun trail. And I think it's worthy of the number three position. Let me know what you think, guys. Seth and I made it over to Drop the Hammer. And this trail is actually not in the top five. Even though it is a must-ride trail, absolutely, you need to ride it um, if, if it's within your skill level for sure. But the reason why I wouldn't put it on a top five is because of how short it is. But man, I'm honestly pretty tempted to put it in the top five because it's a fun trail. It, oh yeah. Like it's such a fun trail and it's very easy to session. It really is, Seth and I is probably, what, what do you think? Probably a, our favorite session zone, right? Yeah, just come here, kill an hour, two hours, doing the same exact thing over and over and yeah. over. I, it might have to be in the top five. Let's put it in, a, in an honorary, put it in the honorary number two position. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Honorary number two. It's feeling so good. I'm a little bit biased. I will say all the trails that I've been featuring so far and all the trails that I consider to be the top trails in Bentonville are like jumpy session trails. I'm definitely biased towards that for sure. All right, the number two spot is Fireline. I know we just did an honorary number two spot at Drop the Hammer. I think actually the Drop the Hammer session zone and Fireline are tied for number two as far as the best trails in Bentonville. Definitely some of my favorite trails. You'll see here in a minute why Fireline is so good. Let's get to it. All right. Following Seth down Fireline. Number two must ride trail for Bentonville Bike Fest. It is so fun, top to bottom. Such an incredible trail. Yeah. <laughs> These smaller jumps at the top, run into berms, <laughs> jumps. You just never bored on this trail, and it's so fast. Seth is ridiculously fast on his bike. Yeah. Fire line is so good. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Woo. Yes. Got to pedal through this section a bit. Over the drop. Woo. Yeah. So that is the number two spot, Fireline at Kohler. Let me know if you agree in the comments, guys. Okay, got one more trail left. Guess, take some guesses in the comments what you think that trail is. Let's get to it.
So, what is the number one trail that you must ride in Bentonville during Bentonville Bike Fest? It's a trail that's not even in Bentonville, it's in Bella Vista. And that trail is Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter! It is fast. <laughs> a lot of fun features. <sighs> and it's like the whole package. A lot of great jumps like that one. Yeah. And this bottom section is ranked a black. Goes into this drop, like a five foot, five foot drop into a big jump. Yeah. <laughs> That is such a fun trail. That was Mad Hatter, what I consider to be the number one trail that you must ride while you're here in Bentonville. It is in Bella Vista, but it's not too far away from the uh, from the event grounds. What do you think, Seth? I think, yeah, it's a have to. I mean, you've got flow, you've got jumps, you've got nice berms. Um, yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. Well, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this list. Let me know some other trails, if you're local, that you would have put on your personal top five, but yeah, these have been my top five trails to ride during Bentonville Bike Fest. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.